Hey guys, Kev here, and I want to talk about Jack Wolf knives. So, what is your favorite Jack Wolf design? What is your favorite Jack Wolf to carry? Um, what's your favorite combination? What's your favorite slip for a Jack Wolf? I'm just curious. I want to hear it all down below. Everybody's thoughts on uh, the things surrounding Jack Wolf knives, because I believe it's more than just a knife you know which is really cool to think about uh ben has really turned uh jack wolf into uh something more and i and i really like that um i for one am addicted to the slips these are from troy over at northwoods leatherworks co just look at this uh this is called ghost leather this is the white ghost leather in purple or lavender so it has the purple butera leather underneath see it around the edges and then they put this white wax on it and you carry it and that wax wears in and you can start to see the purple bleed through it's very cool um and it pairs really well depending on the knife right like so i have this purple one with my um midnight jack which is the knife i wanted to talk about today but i also have another favorite of mine the feel good jack here i actually have two of these um, and this one is the limoncello. So I got the yellow Butero with the black wax over it and same kind of ghost leather. Um, and these knives are actually very similar. I don't know if I ever compared them, but you can see the, uh, design language in both of these, right? The feel good is definitely slimmer, more squared off. It's a doctor's knife. And then the Midnight Jack is more of a, a Barlow. But um, very cool that they are sort of brothers. And I would say, you know, arguably, whoa, arguably two of my favorite Jack Wolves. I think the Feel Good Jack is my favorite. Um, and then the Midnight is very close behind. Um, I like the little bit of slimness that you get with this one um, compared to the Midnight, even though that's not like big or anything. Um, but it's very slim on this and, um, this one's just, I don't know. There's something about the feel good that catches me in the feels, if you know what I mean. But the midnight does the same thing. And I've been carrying this guy the past week or so on and off because I sort of fell out of not love with it, but you know, so many new knives and, and all of that, this has been out for over a year. Um, so it, it's just how things go, but um, I like to circle back occasionally. There's those knives that just don't lose their appeal to me over time. You know, talk about the F5.5, one of my favorite knives of all time. And, um, you know, the Trevor Burger Urban is another one I would put on that list. They just are um, sort of forever knives for me, you know, if that's even possible for me. Um, but, yeah, I've been carrying this one, and I wanted to just talk to you guys about it is this still the most uh popular jack wolf knife is this still the most uh highly sought after i guess i should call it grail i guess uh for a jack wolf are you guys still out there searching for these purple haze uh midnights because i remember that was uh, a thing for a while there because when this knife came out uh back in i don't know what was it july of um 2022 yeah um they only had one carbon fiber version at the time remember they would do three micartas and one carbon fiber and this purple haze was what they did on the midnight and so there was only so many of this version of the knife so it became very sought after um but of course they release a knife almost every month so it you know that's going to change um people are going to be able to get something else and you know so it, it's it's a fluctuation so i'm curious if you guys out there that are fans i know some of you guys are like anti jack wolf because you just don't get it or you, you think you know um they're sending us stuff and we're just promoting it if you know me you know that that's not the case um they are sending me stuff and I am promoting it, but I'm not like just doing it to do it. You know what I mean? I truly love the knives and I've paid for uh, many of them, including this one right here. I think I did get this one. Uh, no, I bought this one. 
I think I got a uh, green micarta or something. I sold that, and then I bought this one on the drop. Um, man, this one just has that pop to it. I actually bought three of these, I think. I had a white storm, a lava flow that I still have that I scratched shit out of, and then I have this limoncello one. And you just hear that pop. This particular feel good just has some magic in it. Um, my other one doesn't have a, quite the same pop, you know? And that's the thing, you know? Slip joints kind of have uh, variability a little bit here and there. It's like any knife, though, you know? Detents and such. Um, but yeah, anyway, I don't know where, where I was really going with this video. I just wanted to talk about, excuse me. I just wanted to talk about the midnight Jack. I love it and I haven't in a while. Ah! Um, and one thing I like to do is occasionally just clean out this, um, fuller here or yeah, I guess you call it a full, long pool. Sorry. You can see my skin is built up in there. And that's what happens when you fidget with knives like it's your job. Um, see, this one's... Oh, my God. Yeah, look at that. Let me open it. I don't want to get any of that in the... Ew. Holy shnikes, dude. Sorry. <laughs> Is that gross? Or what? Sorry, I know that's gross, but life of a of a knife nut, you know what I'm saying? I did um, tweak this one the other day because I was playing with it after I had it in the case for probably three to six months without really touching it. Um, that happens, you know. I have so many uh, slip joints, and I was uh, carrying it, and I was just fidgeting with it, and I noticed it was really hopping. Right, the, the spring was just like boing boing. And I'm like, wow, this is really broken in. Or, and then, you know, I go like this and you could see, I could push the blade over to here and let go and it would just stay over there, right? You could feel a ton of play. So the pivots had loosened up. So I went ahead and Loctited them. So I wanted to see if they s did stick. Oops. That was a T8, this is a T10. Yeah, feels like everything's tight in there. I did use um, lock stick instead of uh, lock stick, lock tight instead of um, super glue like I usually do. I think on slip joints, it's just smarter to use um, lock tight um, because, especially Jack Wolf's, because the the tooling is very shallow. You can easily strip these out. Um, and if I put glue in there and start, and then the other big thing is I have to adjust them. You can't, it's really hard to just put glue on it, tighten it down and get it perfect, right? You have to kind of do micro adjustments till it's perfect. You can see this is perfectly centered. Push it over, bounces back, walk and talks good. Maybe a little bit of play if I really wrench on it, but it's a slip joint. So it could also just be, you know, this going up and down and then nice hop to it nice acoustic to it and i've put plenty of kpl in here you can see that black stuff i mean this knife is how old now over a year old and has a ton of carry time a ton of fidget time and it's still washing out um black stuff when I oil it, which means it's cleaning it, right? It's essentially cleaning it because there's, uh, you know, steel on titanium. There's the phosphor bronze washers. There's a lot of moving parts in there. And, you know, there's going to be wear. And that's going to come out in black goop. So I like to do this. And then see, you can see it's still pretty clean. So what we can do... Probably what we should do is just leave it alone. But you guys, <laughs> you know me. I don't leave things alone. So I'm just going to take a little bit of KPL Heavy. And when I say a little bit, I just mean a tiny little bit. And I'm going to put a dot here. And a dot here. 
And then I'm gonna kind of get that on both sides and then I'm gonna stop. And then open and close it. I like to do it 10 times. It's usually a good number. Fidget machine, fidget machine. That's the other thing. People who aren't slip joint folks or can't convince themselves to try it, they don't want to admit, man, the fidget factor on a slip joint is insane. It really is. Um, yeah, this one is looking pretty good. Just got some stuff, you know. I could do this, like, that's the thing. You got to be careful because if you get too OCD about this, I could do this every, you know, four hours that I carry a slip joint because I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to play with that slip joint often. Um, and so I could sit here and clean it and touch it up and all of that every, you know, few minutes, honestly, because it's going to keep happening, uh, unless, you know, you just clean it like I did earlier and then just leave it, which is what I should have done. But you know, I go crazy, foo. I go crazy, foo. Um, the new release for september 23 is the pioneer jack what do you guys think about the pioneer jack it is a sod buster design as far as i can tell um it's looking really cool i'm excited for it i've been hoping for a sod buster for a little bit i just like the sod buster design it's not necessarily like my style you know the blade shape and, and everything if you know me you know this is more me but there's just something about a sod buster that does it for me. So, um, yeah. But anyway, there's just some randomness when it comes to my Jack Wolves I wanted to talk about. And uh, I wanted to see uh, what's your current favorite? Why? Um, do you still think the Midnight is top tier? Do you still think it's a super sought after one? Do you have one? Did it take you six months to hunt one down? Did you overpay? Are they coming down in, in uh, secondary price? Like, you know, all of that stuff. Let's talk about it down below. And then tell me if you're excited about the Pioneer Jack. Tell me if you're excited about the new sort of angle that Jack Wolf is doing right now where they're not just doing carbon fibers. Now they're doing uh, full tie. They're doing jig. They're doing woods. They're doing ultim. Ultim. Um, you know, and then they, of course, still have the uh carbon fibers which is you know i can't get away from it i just love the uh carbon fibers on these so um you'll be seeing a toxic green pioneer jack on the channel but um yeah let's talk about it in the comment section hit the like button hit the subscribe button and i love you guys i hope you have an absolutely fantastic day and i will catch you later